Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to access your virtual um, classroom uh, using Moodle. Now you will uh, go to your e-learning platform. Uh, remember by going to the browser and typing e-learning.nipa.sc.zm. When the page opens, you can enter your computer number as your username and as well as your password. Uh, whatever you have put as your password, right? Once you've done that, you can log in into uh, the e-learning. Now, um, what you should understand uh, uh, is that uh, uh, the modes of study have been uh, separated. So you will notice now that uh, we are going to have one link for the full time and the other link for the part-time and distance. So the part-time and distance timetable has been combined. On the contrary, the full-time um, uh, uh, full time have also a different link. So it's very important for you to take note because um, the two groups that have been created, the learning uh, timings are going to be different. So um, once the system takes you to the dashboard, you can scroll down and uh, look for your course. Okay, so you can scroll down, you look for your course. Uh, for me, uh, for demonstration sake, we're going to use uh, BCS301 programming in Java. So I'll come and uh, click on uh, BCS301 programming in Java. So once you click there, uh, you give the system a, a minute it's just to, to load. Okay, let's click again. Now, once the system has finished loading, it's going to take you to the section for programming Java. So, like I earlier on uh, uh, mentioned, that uh, the links now have been separated because of the two different learning times. So, you will see that if it, you are full time students, you will need to come and click here. Um, where it's written, click here to join virtual class for full time. Then if you are part-time, you are required to come and click on this link. Uh, click here to join uh, class for part-time slash distance. Okay. And you are also going to note that um, the, the way this has been organized, you find that uh, on a weekly basis, you are going to be having uh, uh, different links. Please take note of that. So like for example, for um, next week's link, you, you like it's indicated here week one uh, from 31st August to 4th September. So meaning that after that week, the other week we're going to have another link below here uh, reading week two. Um, uh, also having the, the, the components that you're seeing here. Then what you're seeing here, this is going to be the PowerPoint presentation. So you can download the PowerPoint presentation, um, save it to your computer, uh, but for this session, we are more interested in uh, having access to the virtual classes. So, uh, as for full time, I'll just come and click here. Uh, click here to join class. And once you click uh, there to join class, the system now is going to take you to the Google, uh, Google Meet. Right? Now it is there. Uh, in the Google Meet that you have now the ability to join the virtual class. Okay. Um, ability for you to join the the virtual class. So, um, the system has taken us to Google Meet and um, once we come here Right. Uh, once we come here, you will see here uh, there will be 
you will see here or there will be a button called uh, join now so this is the button that is going to be now giving us access to uh, join the class and here you can see there's a name of uh, name of the course so if I, I click join now the system now is going to take me into the virtual class all right the system is going to take me into the the virtual class now what is important here one um, just in case the lecturer has not muted you it's important to ensure that here you are, you are muted so you mute here in order to have um, some some good uh, learning environment so I'll click here uh, so meaning my mic has uh, uh, I've muted my mic and if I want to talk once the lecture has given me the ability to talk I'll need to come and click here so it will tell you that okay the mic is on then uh, the mic is off so this is the off if the mic is off you see that there's a there's a slash on there now um, the other thing that I want to bring to your attention is uh, the other thing that I want to bring to your attention is um, uh, the other thing that I want to bring to your attention is uh, um, the ability of chatting uh, or asking a question via a chat. So you can do that by coming here, and uh, when you click on that icon, um, this sidebar is going to open, and from the sidebar, I can type a question to say uh, maybe uh, what okay what are the key features of Java okay and when it's once I send it the the good part about it is that. Uh, once you send it, you know, other students are going to see it, the lecturer is going to see it, and other students can type back, uh, you know, the answer if they know it, then the lecturer later on can, can be able to, um, can be able to answer uh, your question. So once you're done typing, you can just close this window. So basically, this is how you have access to your virtual.